All right, guys, so I got another free material for you guys. It's kind of like this cutting mat material board. I've seen a lot of these on the Instagram here. So I, I, you know what? I saw people actually selling them for five bucks a pop, which I think is ludicrous. I'm going to give it to you guys for free. So let me quickly show you guys when you download this file, what you're going to get. You're going to get this node material here, right? And this node material is already has a material inside of it. If I open this up, I advise you to open it up and play with it. This is how I figured out how to make this stuff and how to do this stuff is by opening up people's files and breaking them down right so if you quickly look here we've got our universal material and this is the bump material here everything is pretty much procedural i've got this noise this generating the bump and then up here we're mixing these textures here with a mosaic to get the uh, rectangles and then again just some basic sliders here nothing really crazy and then i have another mosaic one here which is the little dots in the inside here and then again i'm mixing those in here i'm using them as a black mat that's why i have that black so they're being matted against that and then put into here and then this these textures one and two come out and into here which is going to be the actual color now i'm really happy that i was able to figure this out one of the guys in our community here Alex in our community had released this video. He goes through the process of how to make a fully procedural one using the X's and crosses and how to group it together and get it. So when you scale it, it will scale properly. You can see we had to do a little bit of math here because the original design I had, we had to scale both of these independent. So you had to scale the circle in the independent of the rectangles. But with this binary math node, which is replacing like the octane or the standard cycles math node, if you click here, this is basically our version in Octane of a math node. We can come in here and here's all of our different math functions. Again, I'm just doing the function of multiplying up to this value that well, these numbers are being multiplied by one. And then I take those two values and throw them into the scale. And when I jump out, what that allows me to do is now I have the scale option right here. Then here's the two color options so we can change the color to whatever thing, whatever you want. And then if I plug that back in here to the surface, and then boom, we get our scale. There it is. Now we can scale it. And with that binary math node, it's keeping the scale of the circle and the scale of the rectangle and scaling them both uniformly, right? So now you can use this and have any type of size that you want. Then what I did by running those two lines, those texture one and two, those come to our colors here. Here is our background color. And the way you can do this too, I'll have it all set up for you. But if it's not, if you walk into this, what you need to do is just basically come in here, octane textures, drop in an RGB color, and that's gonna give us, I'm just gonna duplicate that one more time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the background color. And then boom, you just come in here and dial whatever color you want and just get get creative, right? I'm gonna do the classic uh, matte here. They do the classic one with white, or we can even just change up the colors, add yellow on top of there, whatever you want. It's endless, right? It's up to you. So then I'll come back here and let's say I'm going to go ahead and adjust my scale to maybe 0.5. Right, there we go. And then what I also did, just to take it up another notch, we do have control of the the the, uh, the mat here. So if you wanted the shiny mat, here's fully glossy and then here's fully diffuse. And then you still have the option you can plug in some type of noise texture into here. If I come over here quickly and just go noise texture, and if you want to just grunge it up a little bit, you can just drop this inside of there. And then I found this cool little feature. I'm not sure exactly what version or how I got it. I have this little solo button here. If I click on that, it's going to show me the noise right there. And then I can just come in here, quickly tweak up a noise pattern just to get something working right. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Okay. Come back here. Solo button again. Boom. There it is. Now you've got some imperfection map on top of that. And then what I've also added to was if you look at it closely, especially if you catch the light, we can see there is a little bit of grain or like some type of texture. So again, what I did is I have a bump here and then you can come in here and then you can crank this up. If we go to 10, right? It's a little bit more, maybe go to one and you can clearly see I have some type of noise. This is controlling the height of it. Now the noise is also connected to this. So it scales appropriately when you scale the mat. Okay, this is just the height of it. So I like to go maybe like a 0.2 or subtle, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Let's go 0.02. So we just got a little bit of subtle texture there happening with this. And again, I advise you to jump inside again and experiment and see how maybe you don't like the noise pattern that I have on the bump. So no biggie, jump inside of here, press tab, and then you can just go ahead and here you can see, here is the setup that I have for the bump. You can come in here and change this noise texture, change up the pattern however you want it. 
and you can see I took the scale to lock in the scale. I did the same thing, plugged into a binary math node, multiplied it, and then boom, there put this, uh, this, this was the number that was in the scale. I put it into the bottom here, take this out, then we multiply that, and I brought it all the way up to the same thing, multiply that by one, and then boom, we're able to control all of those different scales. We got three different scales being controlled by one slider, which I'm super happy. Thanks to Alex's video, I'm able to figure out this process. If you do notice, it does say right here at the top, matte texture V1. I'm going to figure out how to do the X's and how to do dotted lines. And I'm gonna, this thing will slowly grow. I'll go to V2 and three. And as I learn more how to do it, I'm gonna go ahead and start to put those inside the file also again. If you guys are serious about Blender Octane, I've learned all this stuff just from my community. Like I'm absolutely static with the community and the level of engagement we've got going on right now. We've just finished our first challenge here. We had a default cube challenge. The, the challenge was to make a render, but do not change the size of the default cube. You can change the position, but you had to keep it two by two by two, right? Quickly, I'm gonna show you guys some of the results that we had absolutely some really cool stuff going on here this was one of this is alex the guy who also had that video absolutely fantastic and again when we do our community challenges here we it's all about learning so we share we upload our blender files so he i can download his blender file i can get in and find out how he's doing stuff and this is what we do here's the one that i ended up doing here uh i just kept the default cube and then i built a scene with inside the default cube trying to mimic some real world lighting stuff some of you guys may have seen a couple of these posts here on instagram and stuff and that was what i was working on i spent more detail on this than i actually did the cube but hey you know everybody had their own uh, point of view and coming into this you can see like just look at this absolutely fantastic and again everybody uploads their files so we can get inside their files and we can play this is another one that was my favorite Take a look at this. It was just an absolutely great idea. The default cube, the default cube community challenge 01, and then you open it up and it's like a box. You got to put the model together, the default cube model together. And then he even gives us instructions. Absolutely fantastic. Super ecstatic and super cool. Again, when you do it, when you join this, you do have access to our node database system, which allows us to, to basically look up any type of node. We can just come in here and we type in node database in the B and then we hit enter. And then we get all of these node setups on how to do certain things. Like for example, if you wanna make this pattern, it'll show you how to do it the procedurally way. We also have this for materials and also for lighting setups too. And everybody's contributing into this. So it's absolutely fantastic. And then you can't forget, we have a classroom, which we're cultivating all the blender octane videos we can find on the internet and put them into a, a list here so we don't have to go searching around we've got everything right here and this is growing daily hope you guys enjoy links down in the description if you're into that but if not at least go grab that free texture that i just uploaded for you guys patrick lavar keep running i'll catch you in the next one peace